How's it going Warrior Squad and welcome back to another real time session with our brand new Build Tone Shape and Sculpt Transformation Program exclusive for you, the Warrior Squad members. Now this workout here is going to be a complete upper body only focused muscle building, toning and sculpting session to really help build that V taper and that hourglass figure that we all want. This workout, trust me, is going to be extremely effective. I have some amazing compound exercises in here which is going to be even more effective than a full scale upper body gym session with the intensity that we're going to bring to this workout, working with the clog, trying to overload our body, pushing our bodies to the limit with this session and we're going to see incredible results as we already are. So we have 12 different exercises, two sets each, weights, body weight combined together to maximize results. So as always, get ready, get focused and let's smash this session together. Okay Warrior Squad, time to blast our upper body and build and shape off, okay? So if you have access to a chair, a bench, a desk, anything that you can sit upon, rest your feet upon, please get access to that now because I'm gonna add that into today's session. The first exercise is gonna be our shoulder press from that seated position, okay? And if you have the two dumbbells, you wanna go up and then alternate like that there. If you have only the one weight, up, push to one side, push to the other side from your seated position. If you haven't got anything to sit on, do this kneeling, okay? So I'm gonna set this 10 second countdown and we're gonna do two sets of each exercise for this one, okay? So it's all upper body here today. Right, one, three, two. Yeah. So up we go. Not easy. Up and press, alternate each time. Oh. Oh. Keep going. It's tough. And especially depending on the weight that you have, if it's heavy. Take your time and never be afraid to take a wee rest within that 40 seconds, okay? And if it's a bit lighter, we'll just rev it out. Okay, get ready to go again. Now I know so many of you love the strength sessions. I know so many of you love the more high intensity body weight uh, conditioning workouts. But this is what we have to do. We have to combine all these different aspects of training together to therefore maximize the best results. So this here is actually building that lean and full muscle which is going to reduce body fat along uh, your arms and your shoulders and your back. It's not going to make you big and bulky like us for a girl. So many ladies think that weight training is going to add bulk and size but it does the opposite. It actually makes you look leaner. Right, next one we're going to do the row. Okay. Just like that. One arm, dumbbell row. And then just switch to the opposite arm and then we move on. Okay. Alright, let's go. Up. Squeeze. Good solid form, keep that squeeze at the top. Brilliant exercise here to shave off the back. <sighs> keep going. <sighs> Good, opposite hand there, opposite arm. <sighs> Just goes to show you how literally a small space few weights, the results that you can get. Alright, same again. Up, oh, squeeze.
Set, and we wrap. Nice. Right, next one is push-ups. Now, if you can, I want you to do the push-ups with your feet elevated, or just, uh, you can do your normal push-ups on the ground. If it's too difficult, you can do it on your knees, or if on your knees it's too difficult, you want to try it like this, up against your elevated circle. That's a brilliant way to get stronger. I'm not gonna lie, I love these upper body sessions. It just feels so much more chilled, but you're building muscle, you're shaving off your physique, you're in a fat burning state, but it's just not as brutal as leg day and those high intensity sessions. If you want to try to push yourself even more, pull the leg up like that. So much to do, so much to achieve. Pump. Right, let's keep on pushing forward. Let's keep the momentum. We are achieving some serious results. I know so many of you are getting a hell of a lot stronger, better, healthier, most importantly, feeling better. So it's all about with these sessions. Right, we're we'll going again. Keep digging, every rep. Ah. Okay, the next one, we're just gonna go rows from the standing position. So if you have the two weights, just a normal row like that, if you have the one weight, row up. As I said to you before, my back has never been as strong from doing these bent over rows. I used to have like, a weaker lower back, probably because I never worked it that much until Warrior Squad. Now I know sometimes you may feel uncomfortable, but if you just find that right position and go for a few reps, you're gonna get that lower back stronger, more defined. And I know a lot of people want to lose lower body fat, okay, around like their lower stomach. And if you do these rows, it's gonna help build and tone that muscle, which will blast that body fat away. Right, 10 seconds. Five seconds. Oh, it's not easy. It's not easy work. Have a drink. It's mod the pump you can get within only seven minutes. Only seven minutes into this one. Yeah. Right, let's go. Ooh. See that burn? Right, just for ten seconds, I'm feeling it. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> I'll try to keep pushing through. Right then, okay. Next one is dips. Put your hands on the edge of a chair or whatever you're using, okay? Again, as you know, if you wanna make your dips easier, you can bring your legs in closer, like bend them in towards you. you wanna make it more difficult, bring your legs out, right? These bodyweight exercises are the toughest. I say that to people all the time. You think going into a gym lifting weights on a machine, it's gonna get you the best shape, but I'm telling you, you need to add in these bodyweight exercises that Warrior Squad is so uh, well 
based upon. We're doing our functional exercises with the dumbbell as the kettlebell, and this with the body weight combined. Ah. Like anyone can sit on a machine, and if you went in the gym yourself, <laughs> after doing these workouts, you'll feel so much stronger, and everything will be easy compared to this here. So this, this works in so many different ways to benefit you, no matter who you are. I already know a lot of you who are going to the gym also, combining these sessions in, and so many of you are just solely focused on this and pushing your body, and that's why you're getting such incredible results. Same as myself, these are my main sessions. Absolutely hooked on them. The feeling afterwards is insane. Never have I felt as good. Right, let's keep pushing it. Every rep and add 10 counts. Keep going. Five rounds of fun. Absolute fun. Don't be afraid to bend them up like that. I'm going to go down. Nice. Okay, the next one, side raises. If you have only the one weight, you can just do it standing like that. But if you have the two weights, go to the side, okay? Let's do this here. This weight's a bit heavy, so I'm just gonna go as good and control reps as I can. Set, about 10 seconds remaining. Five on the clock. Nice. Take a second. We go again. We're about halfway throughout the session, so let's just keep the momentum, keep focused, keep pushing. Okay, I'm going to go again. If your weight's light, bring the reps. If it's heavy, slow and controlled. Like 10 seconds remaining. Let's get it. Oh, side down or burning. Oh. Now I know so many men want that nice V taper, and so many ladies want that hard glass figure. And see them side ridges. That is the key to helping achieve that physique. Right? Biceps. Just want to do curves. Okay? I'm gonna do hammer curves. Like this, way by my side, coming up, curling the guard. Now you can do any type of a curve variation you want. If you, if, you, if you have only the one weight, you can use the kettlebell the one, or the one dumbbell to do your normal curve. Nice squat. About 10 seconds from the end and try to get the reps in. Go on. Get that recovery back and let's go again. And once again, I'm sweating. Heart rate's up. Okay, let's go again. Squeeze at the top. Under 
Burnin, come on. I don't know, are you struggling as much as me through these sessions? I am in agony every time I go to perform one of these real time workouts with Warrior Squad. Right, overhead. Do this, seat it. Okay? Up over the head with the dumbbell. Last the triceps, the back of the arms. Let's go. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Say, so keep going. Oh, good reps. A solid work out there. Even if you want, you can always do it with two dumbbells up over the head. So many different ways to overload our body here. I just love these solely focused upper body sessions. Alright, let's go again. Going. Come on, rep it out. Born in the back of the arms. For five seconds. Nice. Another thing with the timer is you're forced to really push the body. Okay, squad, the next one. One where we're lying down and we're doing the pull over, the weight up over the head to work the bag. Let's go for it. Okay. So my weight is a bit light, already know it, so I'm gonna slowly come down up over the head and really focus on squeezing the lats inwards, okay? And then back up again. Slowly coming down, keeping that squeeze. And then up again. That's actually such a good exercise. See to really build that sort of V taper in your back. Brilliant. So many people overlook back training and what you can do. Even the people that go in the gym are either just always focusing on the front of their body and never the back. This is why our whole physique is changing within the squat. Like I know so many of you have never even trained in your life and you overtook People who have been training for years just goes to show you with the right programming, pushing, motivation, consistency, you will achieve results. That's a fact. Going to do Arnold press, okay, from the kneeling position, like that. Again, if you have only the one dumbbell or the kettlebell, it doesn't matter. What you actually can do is overhead like that, you know, from your underhand position. So you're just going like that only with one weight if you have it. If you have the two weights, go down and turn. So if you have only the one weight, grab it like that and up over the head, almost like a curling position. Just a different way to target the shoulders. Keep going. 
Not easy. So we have this exercise and two more sets, okay? chest press with a leg raise okay again this can't be done with the one weight just press it with the one weight so what you got to do legs out when you're pressing up legs are coming up when you're pressing down legs are down and do not let them touch the ground like this that's tough Ooh. and this exercise here isn't only working you know your chest your upper chest it's also working your triceps, the back of the arms, which so many people want to focus on. As well as that, we get the core engaged. Keep going. That is not easy. Keep it going. Push it up. Now we go here. Try not to let the legs touch the ground. Okay, the next one, what we're gonna do is our diamond grip push-ups. Okay, diamond grip, again, you can do this on your knees, you can do it with your feet up on the chair or whatever. I'm just gonna blast it here in a normal position. Right, let's go, diamond grips. It's not gonna be easy at this stage of the work. Don't be afraid to drop your knees and just rev it out. Like that. Okay, this is it. We're going to do one more set of these, and that is our session complete. Might throw in a wee surprise just to finish actually after this here. Well, let's go for it. Diamond grip push ups. <clears throat> Come on, let's finish strong together. Focus <sighs> on good forward, down and up. Keep going. Oh. Oh. Right, we're 
right squad, I want us to finish on one more arm variation, okay? And I just want you to go to failure with curves, okay? And you're standing, seated, whatever you want. Again, if you have only the one kettlebell, dumbbell, hold it up like that, and I want you to go to failure. Okay, that means until you cannot get another rep, and then that is our workout complete. Okay, so let's go for it. We're going to three, two, one. Nice count. One, two. Come on. I said, come on. If you have a few reps left, go for it. That's me done. If you're still going for plenty, finish it off. And that right our squad is our muscle building, toning, and sculpting upper body session complete. I'm telling you, these workouts are the most effective real time sessions you're ever going to perform, and that is a fact. I told you before, it's like performing a gym workout literally anywhere, anytime, alongside with me as your virtual coach. Literally like a personal training session, every single workout. I'm doing the sessions alongside with you, feeling absolutely pumped. I am hooked on this training. I'm telling you it's only gonna get better and better from here on in. What an incredible week of training so far. We have one more workout uh, tomorrow. It's gonna be another warrior challenge. So I really want you to bring the momentum, keep that motivation high. It doesn't matter if you fall off track a wee bit, even if you had a few drinks at the weekend or a bit of junk food or whatever. This is a lifestyle, so keep on pushing forward and you're gonna see the results, which I already know so many of you are. So as always, make sure you leave a comment within the exclusive Facebook group. Let me know how you get on. And let's keep on pushing forward together.